Chester, you've been named uh, by the Employee Engagement Award in 2020 from UK as kind of a top influencer in that category. Congratulations. So what tips you can give to companies in terms of employee engagement and what can they do with the surveys or the comments they're getting from employees and how can they can implement it? You know, it's always nice to be recognized. You know, uh, often we, we get these awards, we think, oh, well, that's not, I didn't even know there was you know, a list uh, like that. So it's always nice to be recognized for your work. You know, I, I think when you look about employee engagement uh, in particular, you know, we talk about healthy cultures where people are engaged. And we, we give that definition to being a place where people believe what they do matters and they make a difference. And when they make a difference, it's, it's noticed and recognized. And I think that's a, that's a great definition for employee engagement. I, I've got to believe that what I do has meaning. Mm -hmm. So if you want to make sure from, from, you know, the people that are guarding the place at night to cleaning it, to receiving uh, people that show up, if you're allowed to do that anymore, <laughs> is that they need to be able to connect the dots. Mm -hmm. You know, wh what we do and how we do it should be pretty evident. Why we do it is a differentiator that creates great cultures. You know, we, we are in this to make the world a, a cleaner and safer place. I was just at a company when they said, you know, uh, we want to create a world that is safe where people can grow and develop without fear. Well, you go, well, that's a great mission. And stated, and I'm sure they spent a lot of time and treasure, you know, getting to that sentence. Once you've got that, does it translate? Mm -hmm. And that's where every supervisor and every manager, it's so important to keep that front and center, that this is why we come to work, yeah. to create a, a, a safer world where people can grow and develop without fear. And, and once you get that, I think that's where the magic happens. And then when you see that right behavior, you reward and you celebrate it. It always reminds me of the, of the old fable of the man going by the construction site. Mm -hmm. And he asks the one guy, what are you doing? He says, well, I'm putting in a window. And he asks another guy, he says, what are you doing? He says, I'm, I'm building a brick wall. Mm -hmm. And then he talked to the lowly of lowly workers who was just really removing trash. And he said, what are you doing? And he said, oh, me, I'm, I'm building a temple to my God. Wow. That's the guy who's engaged. Yeah. You know, that's the guy who gets it. Now, had the glazier and the bricklayer had the same thing. Do you think they would do a better job? Of course. of course. So when it comes to employee engagement, what is your why of work? How have you translated it? So that every time I come to work, I feel like I'm making progress towards that goal and, and, and celebrating those, those behaviors on an individual level. level. You know, we call it leading with gratitude. And I think that is one of the best ways to engage people that there ever has been. If I feel valued, if I feel appreciated, I'm gonna do better work, it's that simple. In one of my previous in, uh, interviews with another guest, he was telling that uh, latest Gallup uh, research found that 67% of the supervisors are not engaged. And although the employees are engaged, but the supervisors are engaged. And I feel that that can also reflect why their employees are not engaged, correct? No question. The, the number one factor on an employee's engagement score is their relationship with their immediate supervisor. Well, if your immediate supervisor is disengaged and miserable, odds of you being disengaged and miserable go, go way up. So yeah, those, those numbers I think are staggering. I'll tell you globally, 85% of the world's workforce is disengaged. 85%, that's a, that's a ridiculous number. So when, when you can get that engagement, you can see that the, the exponential growth and the values I totally agree with you. Thank you again for those great tips in terms of employee engagement. And again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips to increase employee engagement, please leave a comment below. And tune in next time for another great question with Chester.